Okay, Lighthouse 2019. You know, we got Eggers. Now we just need bacon. If I could just get back to... <laughs> So it's just, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> Trolls. Hmm? I got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. She's a bad teacher. How come your opponent gets two casts? Because uh, I go first. Because I go first, they get one extra lifeline. Popping higher in the movie's not in our database, bro. What are you talking about? Okay, fine. Give me grown-ups. I mean, not grown-ups. Um, I forgot the name of the movie now. Role Models. It's, it's fair. They don't use documentaries. Documentaries would let you lose people in the weeds too easily. American Reunion. Okay. How about... Um, but I'm a cheerleader. People are saying he's not into the back catalog of Natasha Leon. I know all about the Natasha Leon back catalog. There, uh, no disrespect, someone said you're about to get kill shotted on. Um, hang on. Is she in Sugar and Spice 2001? She is. Someone said you're about to get kill shotted on Sean William Scott. I'll take things that will never happen for 800, Alex. I know every movie that Sean William Scott has ever been in. Sugar and Spice, you skip me on Sugar and Spice. You know, that's throwing me for a loop. Let's just toss this out of here for a second. Okay, I'll cast as well. I'll go cast for cast with you. James Marsden. It's that easy. I, know, I should know Marla Sokol. Melissa George, I, I should know as well. She's in horror movies. But James Marsden, of course, is in motherfucking Hop, bro. He plays the dude who's not a bunny. <laughs> plays the real person. James Marsden has a lot of movies like that where he's flesh and bone. And his co-star is... Um, Built on a computer somewhere. James Marsden from The Notebook. The financier, James Marsden, he's been in a lot of stuff. He's been in 27 dresses, I'll tell you that much. Oh, they're in, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Knocked up. Hmm. Could take you via Martin Starr or Charlene Yu. Wasn't she in a movie called like I Love You Something? Not I, maybe she is in I Love You Man. I don't know. Just had to check. All right. Um, an American Pickle. What is that movie that Char Charlene Yi was in? It was like in the late 2000s. No, no, no. She was like the, she was the d driving creative force behind it. Lego movie? How about MacGruber? Paper Heart, thank you. It's not called I Love You. It's called Paper Heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see what we're doing here. Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie 2012. Jury Duty would be a good one to lose them in for James Marsden. This is not called television to nerdle, okay? We respect the medium of cinema here. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Greenberg, The Legend of Greta Gerwig. Little Fockers, good movie, good movie. Honestly, good movie. One of the be four best Meet the Parents movies. Ben Stiller, you ever hear of a little lad called, um, Nope, Reality Bites, 1994? I have it on good authority. None of my viewers were born in 1994, so you shouldn't know shit about Reality Bites, quite frankly. 
Never mind. They know who Winona Ryder is. I thought Laura Dern was in both. I'm just being honest with you. I saw that in theaters. That's kind of crazy to think of, to be honest. I've grown accustomed to being the oldest person in my chat. Except when Justin or Dan or Malf or Josh are here. Boss baby. You don't want to do this. Boss baby family business. Of course, Hans Zimmer. <laughs> Corey, Sips, yeah, that's true. Bear, no, Bear, Bear, I think Bear's two years younger than me. Inception, Hans Zimmer. How about uh, Allied? I'm going to take you off the hand, Zimmer. I'm not, I'm not that luddy pilled on the Zimmer. La Vie? On Rose. Yeah, well, how about a little Kino classic, The Dark Knight Rises? I'm almost a decade older than you. I say this, I mean this sincerely. This is going to be the most offensive thing that many 22-year-olds in the chat have ever heard about, like, their own age demographic. When old people watch your content, it's the most flattering thing in the world. Because they've been around the block, man. They got choices. They know what they like, and they've opted to give some of their time, their ever-dwindling, increasingly valuable time, to you. When someone's 22 years old, they're like, yeah, fuck it. I'll just watch, like, every season of, like, the Fairly Odd Parents again. I got nothing to do today. When someone's, like, 45, they're like... They, they got to be very considerate with their choices, and them choosing you is very flattering. It's like that tweet that's like, if you go to the theater and it's full of old people, you're about to see the best movie of the year. I see we're going the distance here, Amanda Bynes. Okay. I see your Schindler's List, and I raise you Cold Pursuit. An equally, a different but equally good movie, in my opinion. Do you really want to get taken to on this one? Electric Boogaloo? I'm sure there's... A, what about The Grey? Do you know anybody in The Damn Grey? My screening of The Holdovers yesterday was pretty much all old people and just me. It was a great movie. I love this shit. Has Frank Grillo in it? <laughs> what is his name? War, not War Machine. I'm going to think of it. Just give me a second. Let me think of it a freaking second. Crossbones? Does he play Crossbones? Yes, he does. Okay. Why the hell cross? Oh, because they go back in. Because they go back in time. That's right. I was thinking about it because I saw some letterbox discourse. And someone said, if his letterbox list looks like this, don't trust him. And it was like the distribution of their reviews. And it was like almost all four, four and a half and five stars. And then people started like leaping under to post their own distribution for street cred. Look at mine. It's a Gaussian normal distribution. Look at mine. I've got more two and a halves than three and a halves. Brother, if you're letterboxed, hang on. Let me, uh, that's my boy. Have we already played that one on this one? <laughs> if your letterbox is more twos and two and a halves than it is three and a halves, fours and four and a halves, I don't fucking trust you because your ass has shit taste in movies. Why are you wasting two hours watching something you know is probably going to suck anyway? You should be watching shit that other people said was like four to five stars and then watching it and being like, wow, they were right. That movie's really good. Instead, they're out here like, oh, I'm going to watch, you know, fucking you, me and Dupree just to get just to make my letterbox look a little bit more normalized. Like, have you lost your mind? 
You've gone crazy. Yeah, but why did you watch Underwater? I honestly, I heard that Underwater was better than expected. Hang on, this is a tough one. I got myself into rocky waters here. I heard it was better than expected. And also, I love like one-off pseudoscientific monster movies. You know, Sunshine's not really like that, but let's count it because it makes my point stronger. Life starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, I, I like like a two-hour long sort of light sci-fi thriller. But I did think that the movie itself didn't stick to... It's, listen, okay? I was going to say I don't think it stuck the landing, but quite frankly, I don't think it really stuck any of it, to be honest. Um, but I think they were trying. Like, I don't think it was like a, an embarrassment. I just think it didn't quite land for me. Little Miss Sunshine. Okay. How about the Fable Mans? American Pickle's already been played, my friend. <laughs> An American Pickle has already been played. Love and Mercy, Paul Dano. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it's Ruby Sparks with a bullet. I saw Shape of Water on a plane, and this guy kept trying to talk to his wife who was beside me during the sex scene, so I just stared right at the screen. How did you end up in the middle of uh, a couple on an airplane? Have they just been married so long that they were like, I want the aisle, I want the window, and they refused to compromise? Movie 43. Soft lifeline. We respect it, though. No, the guy had to walk over every time? Like, they weren't even in the same row? Nope. <laughs> That's, they weren't in the same row. You fly an Air Canada Jazz where you got to pay like 75 bucks to choose your seat? Hugh Jackman, Kelshot. My greatest showman. It was Air Canada. You know, we bought some uh, tickets on WestJet. You know that they've introduced a new... Um, this also has the motherfucker from The Bear who's also in Movie 43. Fine, I'll play Neighbors too. Let's see what you got here. Sorority Rising, motherfucker. High School Musical, fine. They've, they've soft launched. Now you, when you buy a plane ticket on WestJet, which is like our other air carrier. Sorry, I got two movies mixed up here it's it's hard to play and build a, build a bit of banter at the same time basically if you buy the cheapest possible ticket they don't let you pick a seat anymore and they don't let you cancel it's like they pulled two basic things out and said okay fuckers we're creating like a a, a shit level purchase now you got to pay extra just to get like what you used to get for free it's crazy bro And then the, the one level up doesn't give you a checked bag still. You got to go like gold to get a checked bag. But the, the bronze level was basically like, we can verbally abuse you when you get on the airplane. You might have to sit in the cargo hold. If you have to change your ticket, you have to pay like full price for the new ticket. You can't just pay like a, a rescheduling charge or something like that. No disrespect, Amanda Bynes. Some people would pay extra for that. The Lighthouse. The Witch. This one's for you, Chibli. I just bring a backpack, no need for checked bags. Me when I was 21 years old. Why doesn't the family of uh, two adults, three kids, and two grandparents just bring a backpack? It would save them 10 minutes at the airport. I got the world all figured out. Bro, because they got grandpa's CPAP machine. The kids each have like their own potty that they got to bring. They're going snowboarding. They need books. They need toys. They got, they got 
greater cargo demands, man. 16 and 1. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Girl with the the dragon tattoo. Yes. Prometheus. I am, okay, we got a chance. We're sprung. Most people don't know any movies from Sweden. I know like six. Okay, so from Prometheus, as simple, we go the last duel. I'm in the driver's seat now. What do you know about Jean de Carouge? Sweden makes movies. Bro's never heard of Ingmar Bergman. Doesn't know about Wild Strawberries. Ridley Scott, A Good Year. How about Ridley Scott, the fucking, the fucking Kingdom of Heaven, bro? What you know about Giannina Faccio? Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Okay, what do you know about Quilzel, bro? What, nobody's ever made it out of uh, Let the Right One In before? Okay, I did not know that Jeffrey Rush was in Finding Nemo. I'll give you credit for that one. How about Shakespeare in Love? Don't often get to do a Jeffrey Rush kill shot. My problem with The Last Duel is that the accents are inconsistent and bad. Your problem as a viewer, D.L. Guiga, is that when the movie is that hot, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it makes sense. You really wanted to hear Matt Damon pretend to be from Normandy? This shit would have been a damn disaster. I'm glad they told him just to talk in his normal voice. Fuck you. Great expectations, motherfucker. Great expectations. Fucking Ella Enchanted, motherfucker. Fucking Ever After, motherfucker. Okay, fucking cast me, bro. Hank Azaria. I'll hit you with a little heek on that one. Yeah, we're going to lose. This is really bad. I'm going to take you the machete kills. Um, <laughs> I don't really know why. <laughs> oh, they, they were ready for that. Okay. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? It's, uh, I'll, I'll play Puss in Boots, The Last Wish from 2022. I'm scared, man. I don't like a 2x on Antonio. Yep, because that's what I was worried about. I'll drop a quick cast on that one. Hmm, that one. Oh, Pedro Oma Elmadovar. All about my mother. But you're all about her. She's not my mother. I'm in trouble. Talk to her. Please. You too, Mama Tambien. Oh, Vicky Cristina Barcelona. It's not how you spell Cristina. Yeah, Javier Aguirre as a robe. Javier Aguirre as a robe. I got you. Match point, classic. Okay, classic. How about a little um, money talks, or as I call it, margin call? Paul Bettany's not in this one. I'm thinking of Wimbledon. I know this dude. I don't know what else he's in, but I know this dude. He's a British guy. I hate to do this. I'm going to get lost. Bro's going to play some fucking William Friedkin movie from 1968. Yeah. Ten Commandments, huh? Godfather, I'll play That's My Boy. Hit you with a little wildly, tonally dissonant response. Oh, spoilers. I'm imagining.
a Dolce Vita. Hmm, interesting. Me personally, I'd play eight and a half off of that. Reno Dakota. I'm no Nino Rota. I don't know the score. Now, can I name another Fellini film? No, I cannot. Mm, how about the good, the bad, and the ugly? <laughs> how about Fellini? How about a skip you? Nino Road has been used three times. There's still hope. Nino Road has been used three times, bro. Oh, come on, please. Doobies, play it with me. Hold. Hold. Nino Road has been used three times, mon ami. Yes, I'm never going to play. No, of course I'm never going to play you again. Nobody's ever going to rematch you, bro. You tried to abandon me in mid-20th century Italy. I mean, we should all be so lucky, but still. Now, this person has an even better rating, so that's even scarier, but... Maybe they're Italian? Why do you think that would bother me? You think I'm Popeye Doyle? I don't know where I'm going to take you, man. I'll take you to Widows. I'm scared. 39 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses. Steve McQueen? Easy. The Great Escape. This is bad. I think I walked into a, a Lifeline Miller. Centurion. Okay. How about a little movie called Frank? 2014, he wears the jack-in-the-box mask. About time, Domhnall Gleeson. Yeah, well, how about an equally obscure movie? Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens, starring Domhnall Gleeson. You ever watch Heavy, 1995? Can't say I have, D.L. Guiga, can't say I have. You ever watch Sucker Punch 2011 starring Emily Browning? They go, you go who me, I go who you. You don't go who me, I go who you, okay? They're playing with their damn food. 300, nice try. I got a killer up inside of me. I can't talk to my mama, so I talk to my diary. Annihilation. Okay. Charlie's Angels. No, no, no. This is not right. This is not right. Uh, Creed 2. I got Naomi Scott and Tessa Thompson a little bit intermingled in my head. Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. Shut the fuck up. The sum of all fears, motherfucker. Tom Clancy wrote both of those Johns. Could you ballpark how many movies you've seen? About 350. Air Force One. I'll take you to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, this feels good to drop a, a tree fitty joke. Minotaur. Oh, here we fucking here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. You play that movie where Tom Hardy is locked inside of a car by himself for two hours. I skip. You got the cinematographer also did some student film from 1998. Steward a life backwards. Here we go. Here no, there's actually there's ways out of this, of course. Benedict Cumberbatch, perhaps most famous for Penguins of Madagascar. You're thinking of Madagascar, bro. That's a different movie. The Current War. Okay. Benedict Cumberbatch Killshot. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about, um, well, it's between Doctor Strange and the Imitation Game. <laughs> I'll play the Intimidation, or the Imitation Game. Bro's probably like, Tuppets Middleton is actually my aunt. Yeah, okay, Morton Tildum. Headhunters, 2000 British movies, most British movies of all time. Harry Potter is kind of like a Robert Altman movie. Um, the Chronicles of Riddick, if that's come out over there. I'll probably hit you with a skip on that one, because who the fuck is Morton Tildum? No disrespect. I have no clue. Max Manus, Man of War. Okay, so we're in like fucking Denmark. This is Druk, also known as Another Round. I'm gasping for one more breath. This is The Hunt, 2012. This is Aguirre, The Wrath of God. Hang on. This is Gosford Park. This is uh, Fanny and Alexander. Harold and Maud. The Trouble with Cats and Dogs. The Cable Guy. Denmark. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's just, you're just a good gamer, honestly. No disrespect. Get me out of there. It's not fair for people from other countries to also watch American movies. Like, you should not know what The Lighthouse is. Mississippi Burning. Um, this is how we lose. Just, this is how we draw. I'm not willing to draw with you. I'm not. So I'm going to use a cast lifeline to pull us out of this. And I'm going to take you to Alien Resurrection. Because I, I played the moves in my head. We both have Willem Dafoe banned. I was going to play inside. They were going to be banned. They were going to skip it to me. I wouldn't know how to get out. So I was going to have to skip it back to them. That's a guaranteed draw. So instead, sure. I'll, I'll pay the iron price. And I'll lose tempo. To put you on the, on the back foot. That doesn't bother me. Because I'm looking at your record. I already know you're done. Bro used the cast lifeline on the killer. This shit came out like a month ago. You play Assassin's Creed on me? <laughs> I don't really want to be here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer you to not kill me. Or not make, make me use a lifeline on something. I'm going to give you the chance to not 3x Michael Fassbender. Because I don't know who's in Assassin's Creed. But I do know Peter Dinklage is in Days of Future Past. And he's in um, Death at a Funeral. And then, I, please skip me so I can do the thing where I played Death at a Funeral 2010 because they recasted the whole movie except for Peter Dinklage, which is fucking hilarious. I don't care who you are. That's delightfully amusing, okay? The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. You know what? <laughs> Hello, Simvicta. Hello. Am I crazy to think this has Chris Rock in it? Ooh. <laughs> the movie where um, Kevin Hart is Brian Cranston's aide. Brian Cranston needs a nurse. I'll play Jumanji 2, the next level. Somebody tell me what that movie's called now that we've milled the Kevin Hart's. Cranston. The Upside. Thank you. The Upside. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is in Southland Tales. Southland Tales won't blow you away. But you know that they'll stay, brother. Googling Gary is in another tab. Just type resign. It's easier. Less steps. Maybe they were looking it up on dictionary.com. No disrespect. They were just chatting. <laughs> Probably true. I'm just being rude for no reason. I'm high on my own supply. I play nine days. Okay. I don't know what nine days is. That's scary. 
This is like when you get someone on your Rocket League team that's like, I only play in reverse, and you're like, brother, this is serious. Can we just... Like, this is, this is not a joke to me. I have a limited amount of time in my day. Hotel Artemis. Yeah, I don't know. I remember this is the one that is not the clash at the El Royale or bad times at the El Royale. What? Cast me. Jeff Goldblum. Jenny Slade. That's a tricky one. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Okay, so they know this is kind of alt comedy sphere. They've been playing all the all the hits. Between two ferns, between two ferns two. The Kroll Show movie. Obvious child skip me. See now here's a problem. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything else that she's ever been in. No disrespect. Is she in an American pickle? Am I freaking out? Am I a genius? Nope. Um. Yes! I was like, female-led comedy movies that are critically acclaimed. After Shiva Baby, we were going like Booksmart, Bottoms, The goods, that's a, that's a nice play. They've resigned. Good game. Good game, nine days. Now, I am a coward. I'm going to take my arb, as the Oguigo would say. I'm going to get out of here. Good game. Good game. Film school Andy. I love this. Where'd you pull Shiva Baby from? It's a long story. I watched the Stavros special on Netflix which made a lot of things coalesce for me because I also go on Twitter uh, all the time. So I knew that he dated the woman from Shiva Baby, who is Rachel Sanat, who is also in Bottoms, I think. So this is like information kind of like snapped into place for me as a result of this. Does this have Danny DeVito in this motherfucker? I think it does. It does. Is that Kai Sinat's mom? Yep. Yes, it is. Don't look it up. Or do, but only after you've had a couple of Josh's in you. What is the percent in the bottom right? That's the amount of oxygen left on your spacesuit. Bro, you gotta get to the airlock! You're gonna die! Ke Kevin Hart wearing a spacesuit. Hang on, let me think about this for a second. Kevin Hart wearing a spacesuit. We're underwater, <laughs> motherfucker. You need something that can sustain 300 Gs of pressure. We going subterranean in this bitch. Sorry, it's, it needs a lot more work. Like, we're not even close on that one. There's plenty of oxygen underwater. Okay, you, you glib so-and-so. Yo, Guiga, this is how I know your kid is not born yet. How to lose friends and alienate people. Lil Guiga. Jonah Hex. Good pull. Sicario. We're going the distance on this one. Not yet. I remember like the, the week or two before um, we had our daughter, I was just fucking chilling on the couch playing Fall Guys. There's really nothing you could do. You painted the nursery, you built the crib, you got everything set up, you know, you're reading the baby books, but every single baby book is basically just like 
you know, don't worry, but also like never do this thing that you might have done because the baby will explode. Like there's, you're just kind of waiting around. I'm 20 movies and five books deep. You never thought about just mindlessly playing like uh, 400 games of Fall Guys? Probably should have just read some books. Jamie Foxx, how about Horrible Bosses? I mean, we're just, we're disrespecting each other right now. We're, we're, we're throwing lobs out there. You really believe D.L. Guiga is married with a kid on the way? Bro, it would be so depressing if it was all made up. <laughs> I, would be, I would lose my mind, man. If it's all an act, you're not like a, a finance guy from Chicago with a wife and a child on the way and you're just like some dude. <laughs> Yeah, you're like a 15-year-old kid from Boise or something. Oh, man. Oh, that would be good stuff. Who the hell is Tio? <clears throat> I don't want to be in the Paul Verhoeven universe, bro. Oh, this is Playmobil the movie. No, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> Isabella Huppert? She's in Huckabees, bro! You thought I'd get trapped here? She plays the mommy in Huckabees. I don't know shit else that she's in, to be honest with you. I also don't know how to type. All right, well, I mean, like, film school Andy, this is a problem. I'd like to take you into some stuff you've not seen. Have you seen Underwater 2020? Funny Games 1997? Funny Games 2008? Oh, motherfucker. He really is film school, Andy. Here we go. I don't know other Haneki films. Did he do Cash? Did he do Dragged Across Concrete? Did he do Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot? Was anyone in Munich? Yes! <sighs> he did do Cash. It was just the third X. Well, well, now you're, no, 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 no. This shit ain't German, bro. This shit's Steven Spielberg. Oh, oh images, you piece of crap. The Fabelmans? Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Did you hear about Mia Goth kicking an intern in the head? Yeah, some people get all the luck. I'm just kidding, that's not cool. She should not have done that, probably. Allegedly, at least. Uh, who's Mia Goth? <laughs> Artificial intelligence? How about secondhand lions? They teach that one in film 601? It's got both Osments in it. Pay it forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haley Joel Osment. Kingdom Hearts the movie. That would have been sick. Okay, fine. Just going to go out on a limb, say we're not going to get you with this, but they're probably not doing too much M. Night Shyamalan in film school unless there's a course called What Not to Do. Okay, you know what's up. How about a little In Her Shoes? The Hours. Yep. The Invasion. I have to pick movies that were not shown in film school. This one was definitely not shown in film school. The Peacemaker. You shouldn't know that. You're 21 years old. You shouldn't know The Peacemaker. I got to take you to Bewitch 2005. Your response? Bewitch tonight? Bewitch tonight, Queen? Want to watch Bewitched tonight? They know. Okay. 
Stranger Than Fiction. They're going to know Secretary. I have to take you to a different Maggie Gyllenhaal movie. It must be The Dark Knight. They don't know that one in film school. L little underappreciated classic. Just check in. <laughs> I don't fucking die, man. I'm screwed. Maybe they don't know this one in film school. <laughs> oh, oh, Frederick Kohler, you've done it again. Now, they definitely don't teach this one in film school, okay? Mm -mm. They might teach this one in film school. You watched The Creator? I did. I don't want to spoil it, but I gave it a two and a half out of five on my letterboxed account. The Yellow Handkerchief. Okay. I'm pretty much fucked. Kristen Stewart was banned by my opponent. I guess I'll die then. Um, Amsterdam. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. <laughs> this is a problem. This is a real issue. Um... Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Movie 43. The Avengers. Harry Potter. The Matrix. Matchstick. No, okay, good game. You're just honestly better than me. <laughs> good game. No rematch. Never, never a rematch, please. Name any Kristen Stewart movie challenge. Know the rules of the game challenge. Kristen Stewart was banned. This is a long form piece of media content, okay? This is not like watching The Irishman and 900 parts on TikTok. Like I'm expecting you to actually maintain a through line throughout the whole segment here so that you can understand. That's the only way that we can get into this stuff that has like a bit of a deeper meaning. You know, it's not, uh, this art for me is not just a collection of scenes. I got to play Muriel's Wedding, bro. It's, it's, we're creating a mood and a tone and an atmosphere, and we're evoking a, a, a push and a pull of emotions over the course of the five hours here. Mostly laughter, but occasionally we make you think a little bit. Hmm. Tony Collette. Where am I? Where am I taking you via Tony Collette to abandon you for dead? I'm taking you to Mafia Mommy. What? <laughs> what? Your ass banned Tony Collette too? One of us has to change. If you call Omerda, I promise nobody can stop ya. Mafia, Mafia Mama. You know what I'm saying? How about Jack Reacher too? Never go back. Tom Cruise was banned by Europe. Okay, man. The Shining. The Dork Tower. How about Extraction 2, In Through the Outdoor? Mama Chibli. Hello, Chibli. Good morning. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I don't know who's in Black Hat. Chris Hemsworth in it, is in it, apparently. 
I hope you're not Australian. Why'd you say it like Michael Caine? I thought I was saying it more like Jens Lechman. Black hat. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers think I don't know about Sweden. Like I didn't virtually summer in Gothenburg vis-a-vis -vis Pitchfork Media. Men in Black International? How about Creed II? Seven, one, and two, huh? Just Mercy? Just Mercy? Isn't this, uh, this isn't the Tom Clancy one? How about Creed Three? Fruitvale Station? Wakanda Forever. He's in that one, huh? Creed? <laughs> Wait, does this, uh, sorry to bother you? Okay, cast me. I've seen Fruitvale Station, but it was a long time ago. This shit got Chad Michael Murray in it? It's got Kevin Durant in it? You see the Kevin Durant tweet that said, Scarlett Johansson, I will drink your bathwater. <laughs> that was my, I don't award this lightly. My tweet of the month, open parentheses, makes you think edition, close parentheses. Bro, this shit has Paris Hilton in it. Come on, let's not embarrass ourselves. That my tweet of the month was, there used to be an era in the early 2010s where celebrities would really be on here just posting what they actually thought, and it sucks that we, uh, we lost it. And it had like all the image of all the like famous people tweets when they still handled their own Twitter account. The 50 cent one that's like, bro, why my grandma asked me to take the garbage out? Fuck this, I'm rich. Like that. <laughs> that's really good, man. 